Hey everyone, how are you doing? I uh, hope you're having an amazing day and I wanted to give you a quick workout here today. Uh, we actually did this in boot camp last week and a, this style of training is called Tabata training. So it's essentially an interval type of workout uh, where what we do is we do the amount of work, the exercise for 20 seconds and then we have 10 seconds of rest. Then we repeat that same exercise for 20 seconds, 10 seconds of rest and repeat that eight times for a total of four minutes. So it's very intense, uh, not a lot of rest, and so you're moving, 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 you're working the same muscles eight times over again in the same exercise. So it's a pretty intense workout. Uh, you know, only attempt it if, uh, if you've done quite a bit of work before, or at least you know, go 50% of intensity of what you can do, uh, and then work yourself up. See how many reps that you can do in each exercise, and then you want to try and see how many that you can get on the last time. So you want to try and keep your number of reps for each set as high as possible. But you'll notice that by the time you get to that 7th and 8th set for each exercise, you're probably moving quite a bit slower. But uh, here's the workout. So there's going to be 6 different exercises. Each exercise you're going to do for 4 minutes. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. So a total of 8 different sets that you do it. Alright? So the first exercise. Now once... Do this only once you've warmed up uh, and then your body's ready for exercise. But the first exercise, grab a pair of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, grab something that's weighted at home. Um, or if you're just beginning, this is something that you can do without weight uh, and then just go through the motion. So first, first exercise is going to be a, a squat to press. So you're going to be holding dumbbells at your shoulders and then you're going to squat down and press up overhead as you stand up. Squat down, press up overhead. Squat down, press up overhead. Now essentially you're going to want to try and do that really quick so you get as many reps in as you can in the set. So it could look something like this. Okay, so at least that speed, try and get whatever you can. If you're not there yet, just work your way up. So you'll do that exercise 20 seconds on for 10 seconds rest. Repeat that 8 times for 4 minutes. Then give yourself a good minute, 2 minutes rest. And then the next exercise that you're going to go into is going to be high knees on the spot. So just knees up on the spot or just sideways. Try and get the knees up as fast as you can. Again, same thing. Try and count the reps if you can and try and keep that number as high as you can. All right, so that'll be the second exercise. Third exercise. Now, because this was an arms day, um, it's a little bit more focused on the arms. So what we did... I actually don't have a, uh, have a dumbbell with me, so I'll just pretend to use this water bottle. Is pretend this water bottle is a, is a dumbbell. I'm going to hold it, so we're going to do an overhead tricep extension. So I'm going to hold it behind my head and then extend the arm straight up and back. This will almost kind of be like a rest station for your heart rate, slow the heart rate down, slow the breathing, but you will definitely feel it in the backs of your arms. Definitely burning. Now, one thing you got to watch out for is that we don't want a big extension in your back. So we don't want to see that big extension in there. So we want to keep the stomach tight, stomach really tight, and squeeze your bum as well. And that'll help to keep you straight. And then the other aspect is we don't want to have the elbows way out here extend. Cover the biceps over the ears and elbows point straight forward. And then extend that way. All right, so that'll be exercise number three. And then number four, you're going to be doing good old burpees, all right? So a burpee is essentially jumping up, dropping down on the top of the push-up position, and then back up again. So no actual push-up. So a demo here, jumping up, drop down top of the push-up, back up, and then jumping up again. All right, do as many of those as you can. 20 seconds on. 10 seconds rest, 4 minutes, 8 times. And then number 5, exercise number 5, is going to be a dumbbell, or a bicep curl, sorry. Except this time we're going to add in the legs a little bit, so you're actually going to do a wall sit. So the wall sit, my back is completely flat against the wall, shoulders are back, head is back, and then you're going to hold dumbbells in your hands, and then do a bicep curl down here. Now, because it's going to be hard to hold yourself in that position for over eight sets, all you're going to do is just stand up a little bit higher so you're almost doing a half sit. 
All right, so that'll make it a little bit easier to go through that dumbbell bicep curl. And then away you go. Eight times, 10 seconds rest, stand up, relax, and then back in again. And then the last exercise is gonna be good old mountain climbers. So that's just in the top of the push-up position. You're bumping the air a little bit, and you're just switching, uh, switching the feet back and forth. So top of the push-up, and then feet are just driving straight forward, straight back. Again, do that as many times as you can within those eight minutes or within those four minutes, eight sets, and you will be breathing very hard after those uh, after those exercises. All right, if you need to take more time in between the four minutes, take three four minutes if you need to. All right, so hope you enjoyed that workout, and I'll talk to you soon.